What's up Ultimate Guitar? James here from Cane Hill and today I'm going to be showing you how to play It Follows. I'm going to give you a quick run through of the song so you know what it's about and then I'll break it down riff by riff. So here we go. So the song's in drop A, and uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is make a nice little power chord right here on the 5th fret, and we're going to go a little half step up to 6 with your middle finger, together that's and we got us a little uh, descending run there, it's going to start on 5. Right there, I'm just doing little half steps. Um, you're never gonna go more than one fret with this one. Go up to six. Back down to five. And just back and forth over and over again, pretty much. So all together, that riff would be. Throughout the song, I do a lot of different transitions. It's either going to be two chugs, a descending little uh, run, or a pinch harmonic. The way I, I do those specifically is uh, I use the wah to give myself more gain. But uh, the sweet spot for that is either going to be on the 4th fret bar or the 11th fret. I kind of go back and forth just what I'm feeling at the time. Um, here's what those will sound like though. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> you can see that um, that little descending thing. It kind of it kind of transforms. There's no like possible way to, to play all those. I go like. <laughs> I gotta get myself a window of time to... After that we got a little pre-chorus, super easy, it's just a couple chugs. More harmonic fun over here on the second fret bar. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up and we're gonna hit all three of these while lightly touching the uh, right above this little fret bar right here. It's gonna make this sound. Ugly Out of Mannequin, uh, True Love, uh, a lot of our songs involve all these harmonic spots I'm showing you to get different sounds. So after the pre-chorus, we have the chorus. What we're doing on that is we're doing a hammer on, 3-5. And then we're gonna hit the, uh, the octave of three on your fourth string. Got a little quick transition there. Six, five, three, twelve, ten, six, five, three, five. So once you play all of that, the when you land on five, finally you're going to be making a chord. And to make that chord, it's just going to be a bar, and you're going to add your ring and pinky finger right here on your seventh and eighth fret. And uh, when you do this, uh, it's called adding a major seventh. That makes it a big, it's basically just the octaves coming from this root note of five, you know, so. And together, it's, it's a bunch of the same note to, to be really strong and, and thick, and you know, it's a little emphasis. So the whole chorus. Sometimes I go, sometimes I do. That's all the riffs in the song, so that just leaves the solo. A chorus, a delay, and a wah. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your eighth fret and just give it a nice push. We got some hammer on action, I'll play slow for you. After that, we got some more playing going on in that scale. And that's gonna start on your fifth fret, and you're gonna hit six. Go down to eight on your next string, and then five. And we're gonna do a descending couple half steps. So that's gonna sound something like this. One more time slow. We got some pull-offs. Then we're gonna go to the octave up of these same notes. And where that's gonna be located at is uh, over here on 12 on your G string. So all these notes are all these notes. And so on. So anyway, this next part goes like this. Make sure to do that slide. Get that uh, that voicing. If I play it, that's kind of lame, you know. But uh, when you do this, it's like, ooh, keep that in mind. After that, we're gonna bring it up a third time, and that's gonna be a little bit different. Got some bend action in there. We're gonna be incorporating some other strings, but uh, same same base of it, you know. I'm on 20, by the way. So that third one goes something like this. And on this one, I'm bending 19 on the G, along with uh, 18. Well, I'm not bending 18, but it's, you know, I'm holding it. And then same with 20 and 20. Southern-esque style stuff. After that, we're gonna do 22 and then 20. Sliding down away. Really similar to what we did in the very beginning. 
kind of doing the same thing right here. Kind of get off subject for a minute. It's a really easy way to make it sound like you're doing a lot. You know, you're either doing a full step or a half step descending. You can play with those all day and just sound like you're doing a million things. Like. <laughs> But anyway, back to the solo, you know, you're going to Those three are going to be, uh, I think it's 18 and then 20. And you're just going to go down with it. Those are your starting points. 18, 17, 15. Full step, half step, full step. Sometimes I like to do a little Floyd bounce at the end of the... A little more advanced for those of you who can handle it. So the last part of the solo is going to be an ascending run. I'll play it really slow for you. Go something like this. A little bit faster. It's pretty easy for the most part. Maybe not for beginners, you know. But when in the when it comes to like runs and stuff, it, it's definitely one of the simpler ones out there but in the shredder world. But anyway, it starts on 13. You're gonna do a couple full steps. Go to 12. You stay on that string. Do a different shape. You're gonna be uh, 14, 15, 17. So this first three. go up with the same shape and we're gonna stay on this string but the shapes gonna change and we're not gonna stay right here on 18 we're actually gonna slide it to 22 and that's that's how we end the solo it's like the big moment and together the whole thing So the whole solo a cappella would sound something like this. Alright guys, that's a wrap. Now you know how to play It Follows by Kane Hill. Thanks for watching.